this is the male reproductive organs, and um, sort of the same things goes with, with the female, the kidneys and adrenal stuff. Uh, this is figure 38.4 in the book. All right, so just like the female cat, we're gonna start off with the kidney. Um, your size varies depending on the cat, but it's always in the same exact spot, obviously. Uh, right next to that is the adrenal gland, which is just this kidney being shaped. This is on both sides. Um, let's see, from the kidneys, as in the female, it's the same. We have the, ure um, the ureter, which is just this tube, which goes from the kidneys all the way down, which then feeds into the urinary bladder. Um, much bigger on the male cat than the female. Number four here, urinary bladder. Um, okay, and then after that, you have the urethra, which is really hard to find the female on the male cat rather, but it just stems from the bottom of the re of the uh, urinary bladder. It comes all the way down. Okay, that's the urethra. Um, okay, and after that, we start getting into the uh, male reproductive organs. Something the male has the female doesn't is known as the vas deferens, deferens, which is uh, this very, very, very small cord which wraps around the urinary bladder. This is on um, both sides, too. If you come over this way, I think. Should be one. Yep. Vas deferens right there. Both sides. This, once it gets down closer towards the penis, turns into the spermatic cord, which we have seven marked off. So vas deferens, spermatic cord, this general area. Like I said, these things would be exclusive to the male cat. Um, this spermatic cord leads into what we have marked off as the penis. And below that, obviously, are the testes. 